So Wizards announced a ton of new stuff today. Let's talk about it. Hey folks, I'm Alex Story. Welcome back to the fire. And today we're going to be talking about Wizards of the Coast and their new Wizards Present event where they announced a ton of stuff but didn't really give us a ton of detail about the future of D&D. And uh, I guess we'll jump right into it. So the first thing they announced is one D&D. And 1D&D is essentially not a future edition, but kind of D&D evolving over time. It's They don't want to look at editions anymore. They don't look at D&D as having separate editions and key moments in time where people just have to like throw away all their old books and buy the new ones. They want to look at it as something more modular, something that kind of evolves over time. And they can republish books with revised rules, um, almost like a public playtesting in a way. That's that's kind of the vibe that I was getting, but uh, I'm okay with that. Sounds good to me. As you can see behind me, I have a ton of D&D books, and I haven't played through half of them, and like my backlog is big, and I want whatever the future of D&D to be to be compatible with all those books that I bought, so I'm okay with that. And uh, you can actually technically play one D&D right now. They have the playtest website open, and basically it seems to be the new face of Unearthed Arcana. And if you're not familiar with Unearthed Arcana, that's kind of where all the traditional playtesting material was before. They'd release PDFs of new rules, you could play through them, give your feedback, and then eventually most of them end up in published books. A lot of stuff like the Mystic is, you know, banished to the Shadow Realm somewhere. But uh, yeah, you know what I mean. And anyway, you can check it out right now. I'll put the link in the description so you can sign up for this new 1D&D. And they actually have custom origins out right now, which seems to be like a couple of small changes to how backgrounds and character races work and the ability scores associated with them. So, um, yeah. The next thing that Wizards announced is the D&D digital experience, which in my mind is probably the biggest thing impacting my life because it looks amazing. It, the digital D&D experience is what they're calling a full 3D play space, and the footage they showed is is great. It looks like a VR tabletop with miniatures and terrain in a 3D play space. I'd imagine it probably links with D&D Beyond, because if you didn't know, uh, Watsi bought D&D Beyond, and you know you could roll probably right from the character sheet. This is me guessing. That's They haven't said anything like that, but I imagine it will. And they use this like tilt-shift camera, to make things look like they're miniature, like on the table. Uh, but yeah, it's all pre-alpha, pre-engine footage. So take everything with a grain of salt. You know, this could be a whole metaverse situation where they show something that looks awesome and then it ends up not looking good in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, I just hope it's not super pricey whenever it does come out. Now let's talk books. Like, they finally announced bundles for digital and physical books. Seemed like the most obvious thing for the longest time, especially when they bought D&D Beyond to have some sort of bundle for when you buy a physical book, you'd get also a digital copy or at least a discount on the digital version. And so now it looks like going forward, they will have these bundles available where if you buy a, a this bundle, you'll get the digital and the physical version, at, at least uh, at, at a discount. Uh, what I don't like about it, at least in this first iteration, they have a limited amount of bundles you can get, which I, I don't understand. I'd imagine, you know, they'd have a you know, as much physical inventory that they have possible to have limited. Uh, but maybe, you know, this could be a whole inventory situation. Maybe they have to allocate some of their physical inventory to stores like Amazon and, and their friendly local game stores and local bookstores and whatnot. So they can't necessarily hoard all the books, keep them ready for the digital bundles, but whatever. Anyway, you can actually pre-order them right now. You can pre-order the new Dragonlance book with, uh, with this digital and physical bundle right from Wizards website right now. I'll put that in the description as well. And so to kind of talk a little bit more about the specifics in the books, uh, let's talk about that Dragonlance book, which is Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen, which is like a return to the classic Dragonlance setting. And the theme of this campaign will be war and massive conflicts, and it looks like during the campaign adventure, you, the player character is going to be right at the forefront of it, which is awesome. Yet You don't really see a lot of these kind of like war-torn campaigns lately from Wizards of the Coast. And uh, it looks like for the physical book, you'll have two purchase options, a standard hardcover, and the foil cover uh, but the challenge with the foil cover the limited edition exclusive foil cover is instead of just locking it to your friendly local game store you have to buy this new bundle that includes the new warriors of kren board game which is around 150 dollars and that can be frustrating that's a that's a big price point uh and that can be frustrating for some collectors when usually the exclusive foil cover is the same price as a standard book 
Wizards also announced five additional books, but they didn't give a ton of information about the specifics. Uh, but this is what we know so far. So, coming in the winter is Keys from the Golden Vault. In spring, we have Big Bees Presents Glory of the Giants. In summer, we have the Book of Many Things, as well as the Fandelver campaign. And in fall, we have a Planescape bundle, similar to the Spelljammer bundle that just came out. And uh, basically, Keys from the Golden Vault is an anthology of heist adventures, which is something I always love to add to my game. You know, I love me some heists. Uh, it was described as Ocean's Eleven meets Dungeons and Dragons, which, you know, I, I could use a lot more of. And I hope it's not just the adventures. I hope they add tips and tables for creating your own heists, because that's an area of the game that I would love to focus on, uh, you know, for my games. Glory of the Giants is going to be similar to Fizban Treasury of Dragons in that it's all focused on giants. So I imagine, just like with Fizzbands, we're probably going to get some playable options, so some new feats, some new, uh, you know, subclasses, maybe change to some of the giant-ish races, like they did with the Dragonborn. And then, beyond that, I imagine just a lot of new cool giants that you can throw into your game. Uh, next, we have the Book of Many Things which is using the titular Book of Many Things to kind of help DMs with a collection of creatures, locations, and whatnot. And then the Fandelver campaign seems kind of a long time coming, but it expands on the famous campaign from the original starter set, The Lost Minds of Fandelver. And uh, Planescape, lastly, will explore the Planescape setting with a settings guide, bestiary, and adventure just like the Spelljammer bundle that just came out. Um, and yeah, so that should be an exciting 2023. And I'll be here to cover all of that. So if you like the video, hit the like button. Please consider subscribing. And also check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash dungeonfire, where folks get access to my homebrew content as well as one shot. So with that, stay toasty.